Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to my channel. Um, for the last four weeks, I've been researching whether or not uh, astrophotography would be a good fit for me. I also have some videos on that process I went through that might be helpful to you. But basically, I'm just a guy on the internet. I'm in San Mateo, California, a heavily light-polluted area. Uh, and I'm going to use this channel to share with you uh, what I learn as a beginner in an effort to advance. And the great thing about having a YouTube channel is um, through comments and questions, uh, I'm going to wind up learning. So, But I want you to keep in mind I'm a beginner, and things that I say, uh, I may think they are true, but they may not be true. So it's always good to have uh, a range of sources. And in some of the other videos that I'll be doing, I'll share with you who I look to on YouTube to kind of get some basic information uh, to help get me ramped up and started. I'll also be going over uh, what my backyard looks like, uh, the amount of light pollution and all those things. Uh, but this video is specifically about, um, I did four weeks of research and now I'm ready to commit. And one of the things I learned through that research that it's important to pick uh, the right mount uh, for the type of astrophotography I want to do, which is uh, deep sky objects. So uh, recently I went and I uh, purchased uh, this mount here. It is a Skywatcher HEQ5. And uh, I want to share with you a little bit about how, I, how this process kind of happened for me. Um, I spent a lot of time uh, looking at different forums that were available uh, out there and a great one uh, that I highly recommend if you're a beginner and you're doing your research and you're not sure yet, uh, Cloudy Nights is a great forum to, uh, uh, to participate in. Uh, initially I kind of just observed but then I started to ask questions and it's a, it's a great place and um, you can click through into the forums and I want to uh, they're pretty self-explanatory as you scroll through uh, but I spent a lot of time in this forum here called mounts and uh, which helped me um, define what my requirements were and what would be the appropriate mount for me based upon uh, the budget dollars I had and uh, there's a range of mounts out there. There's some highly portable mounts uh, like the Ioptron Skyguider Pro. Uh, there's the Skywatcher uh, Sky uh, Adventure uh, Pro, I believe. Uh, but I wanted something with uh, a go-to capability. And um, the first one, as I said, and this is ultimately what I uh, am purchasing, uh, the one I wanted was this Skywatcher HEQ5. It's what's called a German equatorial mount. And the great thing about it is it has a database of sky objects that will let you um, pick an object and then the mount will position to it. And this kind of at the high level, but that's basically what it does. And with the light polluted uh, skies that I'm working with, um, it's often hard for me to see some of these uh, deep sky objects um, easily and not even not sure that I could see them if I was in a totally dark place either. So this really kind of helps you uh, move to the objects that you're interested in. So I wanted the Skywatcher uh, HEQ5, but as you see here, extended back order four to six months. Uh, right now, like many other things, there's a lot of things that are back ordered due to demand or disruption in supply chains and those type of things, um, you know, related to, to COVID and everything. Um, so then I said, okay, um, this uh, Skywatcher EQ6 uh, R Pro uh, is in stock, but it was also uh, $500 more. And I wasn't sure that I wanted to go there. But one thing that I learned through participating in the forums, uh, a lot of people will coach you that the mount is very important. So you should choose wisely. 
And so sometimes it's better to save some money to get the right mount than to purchase a lesser mount that you would only later be looking to sell and then to upgrade. And the key thing about a mount is what's called their payload capacity. So um, I'll share with you my thought process in other videos, you know, selecting a telescope, what is the weight of the scope, and those type of things. But the key thing about these mounts are what they call payload capacity. And often it's recommended that you not, you only load it up to about 60% of the payload capacity. So <clears throat> anyway, I said, okay, I'm going to spend the extra money and I'm going to get this mount here. But then I went to uh, Cloudy Nights and into the mount forum and I posted a, uh, a thread, you know, I'm going to buy this uh, EQ, uh, HEQ6. Uh, last chance to talk me out of it. And so what I was looking for was feedback on experienced people telling me that maybe I'm uh, taking a wrong turn here. Um, and I also put in my post that I was looking for the HEQ5, but with everything being on back order, I landed on the HEQ6. And um, that post was up for maybe uh, a few hours, and I got pinged. Uh, through a private message by a person that happened to have an HEQ5 still in the box and they're located just a couple of communities over from where, uh, from where I'm at. Now, um, there are some things about the HEQ5 versus the 6 that I'll go into in, in other videos, uh, but I thought about it and his price was uh, really good, uh, lower than if I had ordered one. But I also knew in purchasing from a private seller that the warranty would not be transferable. But he said he would protect me for a couple of months and I could just return it if there was any issues with it and I'd get my money back. And I was good with that, so I'm uh, willing uh, to take some risk there. So um, this is uh, what I've uh, wound up with. Uh, oh, here we go. This is the equatorial mount, uh, Skywatcher HEQ5, and I'll be, once I get it, I'll be sharing with you my experiences and getting it set up, uh, the software that I'll be using, um, and those type of things. But uh, the importance of me committing to purchase that mount means I'm going down this road. I'm going to do this journey. And so if you like this kind of content, um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, think about subscribing. If you're a beginner like me, come along for the journey. Uh, through comments and questions, we can share knowledge. Um, I'll do uh, one thing that I will do is I'll show the best and the worst. If I'm making mistakes and I find out I'm making mistakes, I'll share that with you uh, so you can avoid uh, the same mistakes. And hopefully through comments, uh, people will point me to where I may be making a mistake. So anyway, <clears throat> my journey has started. And now over the next month or so, I'll start to put together the pieces to have the, uh, the kit uh, that I am going to uh, start with that will allow me to do some uh, deep sky object imaging, things such as the nebulas and some uh, larger galaxies and those type of things. And so I'll be uh, sharing with you my experiences. And uh, so I hope you come along for the journey. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them uh, below. And uh, I'll welcome any new subscribers. There's not much content on the channel right now. But now that I've committed through the purchase uh, of this uh, mount, you'll start to see videos from me probably one per week, uh, maybe a uh, maybe a little bit more frequent than that uh, in the beginning. So thanks again for checking out the channel. And as I'm learning that they say in astrophotography, clear skies. Till next time.